hello students we have learned about few formulas and the integration when derivative of the function is given today we'll take up few problems under exercise 7.1 consider exercise 7.1 now find an anti derivative of the following function so finding anti derivative means you have to find the integral value or you have to find the primitive of the function all are one and the same so first question in that sin 2x integral sin 2x dx integral sin 2x dx we know that sin x is the derivative of minus cos x so integral sin 2x dx becomes minus cos 2x divided by 2 plus c where c is the constant of integration so remember after integrating you have to attach constant of integration that is c to all the answers okay under indefinite integration consider second question integral cos 3x dx we know that cos x is the derivative of sin x so integral cos 3x dx that is sin 3x divided by 3 plus c third question integral e to the power 2x dx integral e to the power 2x dx we know that e to the power x is the derivative of e to the power x itself so here e to the power 2x and x coefficient is 2 so divide by 2 plus c c fourth question integral ax plus b whole square dx so assume that ax plus b whole square this is of the form x to the power n so if you have integral x to the power n dx result is x to the power n plus 1 divide by n plus 1 similarly here ax plus b to the power 2 plus 1 that is 3 divide by 3 but remember here the x coefficient is a so you have to divide by that a plus c consider fifth question sin 2x minus 4 e to the power 3x integral sin 2x minus 4 e to the power 2x dx so integral sin 2x that is minus cos 2x x coefficient is 2 so divide by that term minus 4 into integral e power 2x so integral e power 2x is 2 e power 2x itself divide by 2 plus c question number 6 integral 4 e to the power 3x plus 1 dx integral 4 e to the power 3x plus 1 dx so you can keep 4 as a constant outside integral e power 3x integral e power 3x is e to the power 3x x coefficient is 3 so divide by 3 plus 1 dx so integral 1 dx means x plus c consider next question x square into 1 minus 1 by x square x square into 1 minus 1 by x square so integral of this integral x square into 1 minus 1 by x square dx we know that there is no product rule under integration so multiply the terms and convert them to plus or minus form that is integral x square into 1 x square minus x square into 1 by x square that is minus 1 dx so now you can integrate this integral x square that gives x to the power 3 divide by 3 minus integral 1 dx that is x plus c consider next question ax integral ax square plus bx plus c dx here a constant keep it outside integral x square that is x cube by 3 plus b constant integral x 
that is x square by 2 plus cx plus constant of integration that is c. Consider next question. Ninth one, integral 2x square plus e to the power x dx. Now, for 2x square, keep 2 as constant outside, integral x square. Integral x square is x cube divided by 3 plus integral e power x, that is e power x plus c. Next, consider question number 10, integral root x minus 1 by root x whole square dx. First, we'll expand this using the formula a minus b whole square. Now, we'll expand this using a minus b whole square expansion. That is integral x plus 1 by x minus 2 into root x into 1 by root x. So we'll get minus 2 itself dx. Now we can integrate this for x it is x is square by 2 plus 1 by x that is log of mod x minus 2x plus c. Consider question number 11 x cube plus 5x square minus 4 divided by x square. So integral of x cube plus 5x square minus 4 divided by x square dx. First we'll split the integral, divide each numerator by denominator, that is integral x cube by x square, we'll get x plus 5 into x square by x square, 5 remains minus 4 by x square dx. So this is for x, it is integral x is x square by 2 plus 5x and here minus 4 times c 1 by x square. 1 by x square is the derivative of minus 1 by x. So this becomes plus 4 by x plus c. Consider question number 12. Integral x cube plus 3x plus 4 divided by root x dx. Same process. Divide each numerator by denominator. That is integral c here x to the power 3 divided by root x. That means actually x to the power 3 minus half plus 3x by root x will get 3 root x plus 4 by root x dx. So if you simplify this x to the power 6 minus 1 5 by 2 all other terms remains as it is 3 root x. 4 by root x dx. Now if we integrate x to the power 5 by 2 plus 1. 7 by 2 divided by 7 by 2 plus 3 times. Root x means x to the power half. So half plus 1. x to the power 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2. Then plus 4 by root x. 1 by root x. It is the derivative of 2 root x. So 4 into 2 into root x plus c that is 2 by 7 x to the power 7 by 2 3 get cancelled plus 2 x to the power 3 by 2 plus 8 root x plus c. Consider 13th question as it is cubic. Denominator is x minus 1. So try to get the factors of the numerator. x cube minus x square plus x minus 1. If we rearrange this from the first to two terms, if we keep x square outside, x minus 1 remains. Here also you have x minus 1. Denominator x minus 1 dx. So if we keep x minus 1 as the common factor outside, x square plus 1 remains denominator x minus 1 get cancelled with this. So remaining term integral x square plus 1 dx. We can integrate this now. For x square it is x cube by 3 plus 1 integral 1 is x plus c. Consider question number 14. Integral of 1 minus x into root x. First we will multiply all together. Integral 1 into root x root x x into root x, x to the power 1 plus half, that is 3 by 2, dx. We can integrate this, x to the power half plus 1, 
3 by 2 divide by 3 by 2. Here x to the power 3 by 2 is there already. So increase the power by 1, 3 by 2 plus 1. That is x to the power 5 by 2 divide by 5 by 2 plus 6. Consider question number 15. Again, same process, multiply and convert the expression to some more difference form. So integral root x into 3x square. So 3 x power 2 plus half. 2 plus half. That is x to the power 5 by 2. Plus 2 into x root x. x to the power 3 by 2. Plus 3 root x dx. This can be integrated. So 3 times x to the power 7 by 2 divide by 7 by 2 plus 2 times x to the power 5 by 2 divide by 5 by 2 plus 3 x to the power 3 by 2 divide by 3 by 2 plus c so 6 by 7 x to the power 7 by 2 plus 4 by 5 x to the power 5 by 2 plus 2 x to the power 3 by 2 plus 6. Consider question number 16. This can be integrated directly 2 into integral x is x square by 2 plus 3 into integral cos x that is sin x plus e to the power x plus c. So the answer x square minus 3 sin x plus c to the power x plus c. Consider 17th one. 2 into integral x square that is x cube by 3. 3 into sin x. Integral sin x that is minus cos x. So plus 3 cos x, 5 root x. Integral root x is x to the power 3 by 2 divide by 3 by 2 plus c. That is 2 by 3 x to the power 3, 3 cos x plus 10 by 3 x to the power 3 by 2 plus c. Eighteenth question, integral secant x into secant x plus tan x dx. If you multiply, then we'll get integral secant square x plus secant x into tan x dx. We know that secant square is the derivative of tan. So integral secant square x is tan x. Also, integral secant x tan x dx we have to calculate but we know that secant x tan x is the derivative of secant x. So integral secant x tan x is secant x plus c. Consider 19th question. Integral secant square x dx divided by cosecant square x. So write secant square as 1 by cos square x. Cosecant square as 1 by sin square x dx sin square x by cos square x that becomes tan square x dx but tan square can also be written as secant square x minus 1 tan square x can be written as secant square x minus 1 using identity so this can be integrated secant square x integral secant square x secant square is the derivative of tan so integral secant square x is tan x minus for one it is x Let's see. Consider 20th question. Integral 2 minus 3 sin x dx divided by cos square x. Split it into two terms now. Integral 2 by cos square. 1 by cos square. 1 by cos square is secant square x. Minus 3 times. Sin by cos that is tan x. 1 by cos remains. 1 by cos that is secant x. Cx. So 2 times integral secant square that is tan x minus 3 times secant x tan x that is secant x plus c. Question number 21. Integral root x plus 1 by root x dx. Integral root x. 
that is x to the power half. So half plus one that becomes three by two. Here also three by two plus one by two root x is the derivative of root x. Now that two two is not there in the denominator. So one by root x is the derivative of two root x plus c. Consider question number twenty two. d by dx of f of x is equal to 4x cube minus 3 by x power 4, and f of 2 is 0. So we have to calculate f of x value. So integral d by dx of f of x means integral 4x cube minus 3 by x power 4. This gives the original function f of d by dx of f of x. That is 4x cube minus 3 by x to the power 4. If we integrate this, that gives you the original function f of x. So integral 4x cube minus 3 by x power 4 dx equal to f of x. Integrate this 4x power 4 divided by 4 minus 3 into this is x to the power minus 4, so minus 4 plus 1. That is x to the power minus 3. Divide by minus 3 plus c. That is f of x. So f of x is equal to x power 4 plus 1 by. This is f of x. And it is given that f of 2 equal to 0. So two power four sixteen plus one by eight plus c that is zero. So value of c is one twenty nine by eight. Therefore, the function f of x is equal to x power four plus one by x cube. So minus one twenty nine by eight. Till now we have completed the exercise questions of seven point one. Thank you. Next, consider question number ten. Integral root x minus one by root x whole square dx. First, we'll expand this using the formula a minus b whole square. So, integral root x the square x minus one by root x the square dx. Now, we'll expand this using a minus b whole square expansion. That is integral x plus one by x minus two into root x into one by root x. So we'll get minus two itself dx. Now we can integrate this for x. It is x square by two plus one by x. That is log of mod x minus two x plus c. Consider question number eleven. X cube. Plus 5x square minus 4 divided by x square. So integral of x cube plus 5x square minus 4 divided by x square dx. First, we'll split the integral. Divide each numerator by denominator. That is integral x cube by x square. We'll get x plus 5 into x square by x square. 5 remains minus 4 by x square dx. So this is For x, it is integral x is x square by two plus five x, and here minus four times c one by x square. One by x square is the derivative of minus one by x, so this becomes plus four by x plus c. Consider question number twelve. Integral x cube plus three x plus four divided by root x dx. Same process. Divide each numerator by denominator. That is integral. See here, x to the power three divided by root x. That means actually x to the power three minus half plus three x by root x. We'll get three root x plus four by root x dx. So if we simplify this, x to the power six minus one five by two. All other terms remains as it is. Three root x. 4 by root x dx. 
Now if we integrate x to the power 5 by 2 plus 1, 7 by 2 divided by 7 by 2 plus 3 times root x means x to the power half. So half plus 1 x to the power 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 then plus 4 by root x. 1 by root x it is the derivative of 2 root x so 4 into 2 into root x plus c that is 2 by 7 x to the power 7 by 2 3 get cancelled plus 2 x to the power 3 by 2 plus 8 root x plus c Consider 13th question as it is cubic, denominator is x minus 1. So try to get the factors of the numerator x cube minus x square plus x minus 1. If we rearrange this from the first to two terms, if we keep x square outside, x minus 1 remains. Here also you have x minus 1, denominator x minus 1 dx. So if we keep x minus 1 as the common factor outside, x square plus 1 remains denominator x minus 1 get cancelled with this. So remaining term integral x square plus 1 dx. We can integrate this now. For x square it is x cube by 3 plus 1 integral 1 is x plus c. Consider question number 14. Integral of 1 minus x into root x. First we will multiply all together. Integral 1 into root x root x x into root x x to the power 1 plus half that is 3 by 2 dx. We can integrate this x to the power half plus 1 3 by 2 divide by 3 by 2. Here x to the power 3 by 2 is there already. So increase the power by 1 3 by 2 plus 1 that is x to the power 5 by 2 divide by 5 by 2 plus 6. Consider question number 15. Again, same process. Multiply and convert the expression to some more difference form. So, integral root x into 3x square. So, 3 x power 2 plus half. 2 plus half. That is x to the power 5 by 2. Plus 2 into x root x. x to the power 3 by 2. Plus 3 root x dx. This can be integrated. So, 3 times x to the power 7 by 2 divide by 7 by 2 plus 2 times x to the power 5 by 2 divide by 5 by 2 plus 3 x to the power 3 by 2 divide by 3 by 2 plus c. So 6 by 7 x to the power 7 by 2 plus 4 by 5 x to the power 5 by 2 plus 2 x to the power 3 by 2 plus 6. Consider question number 16. This can be integrated directly 2 into integral x is x square by 2 plus 3 into integral cos x that is sin x plus e to the power x plus c. So the answer x square minus 3 sin x plus c to the power x plus c. Consider 17th one. 2 into integral x square that is x cube by 3. 3 into sin x. Integral sin x that is minus cos x. So plus 3 cos x, 5 root x. Integral root x is x to the power 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 plus c. That is 2 by 3 x to the power 3, 3 cos x plus 10 by 3 x to the power 3 by 2 plus c. Eighteenth question, integral secant x into secant x plus tan x dx. If you multiply, then we'll get integral secant square x 
plus secant x into tan x dx. We know that secant square is the derivative of tan. So integral secant square x is tan x. Also, integral secant x tan x dx we have to calculate, but we know that secant x tan x is the derivative of secant x. So integral secant x tan x is secant x plus c. Consider 19th question. Integral secant square x dx divided by cosecant square x. So write secant square as 1 by cos square x. Cosecant square as 1 by sin square x dx. Sin square x by cos square x that becomes tan square x dx. But tan square can also be written as secant square x minus 1. Tan square x can be written as secant square x minus 1 using identity. So this can be integrated. Secant square x. Integral secant square x. Secant square is the derivative of tan. So integral secant square x is tan x minus for 1 at us x plus c. Consider 20th question. Integral 2 minus 3 sin x dx divided by cos square x. Split it into two terms now. Integral 2 by cos square. 1 by cos square. 1 by cos square is secant square x minus 3 times. Sin by cos that is tan x. 1 by cos remains. 1 by cos that is secant x dx. So 2 times integral secant square that is tan x minus 3 times secant x tan x that is secant x plus c. Question number 21. Integral root x plus 1 by root x dx. Integral root x that is x to the power half. So half plus 1 that becomes 3 by 2. Here also 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 root x is the derivative of root x. Now that 2, 2 is not there in the denominator. So 1 by root x is the derivative of 2 root x plus c. Consider question number 22. d by dx of f of x is equal to 4x cube minus 3 by x power 4. And f of 2 is 0. So we have to calculate f of x value. So integral d by dx of f of x means integral 4x cube minus 3 by x power 4. This gives the original function f of x. So if we integrate this 4x to the power 4 divided by 4 minus 3 by this is x to the power minus 4 plus 1. That is x to the power minus 3 divided by minus 3 plus c. That is f of x. So f of x is equal to x power 4 plus 9 by x cube plus c. But it is also given that f of 2 value it is 0 f of 2 value it is 0. So if we use this f of 2 equal to 0 this implies 2 power 4 16 9 by 2 cube 8 plus c that is 0. Simplify this 16 plus 9 by 8 plus c equal to 0. So C is equal to Consider d by dx of f of x that is 4x cube minus 3 by x to the power 4. If we integrate this 
that gives you the original function f of x. So integral 4x cube minus 3 by x power 4 dx equal to f of x. Integrate this 4x power 4 divided by 4 minus 3 into this is x to the power minus 4. So minus 4 plus 1 that is x to the power minus 3 divided by minus 3 plus c that is f of x. So f of x is equal to x power 4 plus 1 by x cube plus c. This is f of x. And it is given that f of 2 equal to 0. So 2 power 4 16 plus 1 by 8 plus c. That is 0. So value of c is 129 by 8. Therefore, the function f of x is equal to x power 4 plus 1 by x cube plus 129 by 8. 129 by is minus 129 by 8 so minus 129 by 8 so we have completed till now we have completed the exercise questions of 7.1 thank you